So today, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, I welcome you back to my channel where I am going to play with uh, one very cute, awesome, beautiful little tank called Manticore, tier 10 British light tank, which at first, when it came out, received so many bad words from me. I was talking so much trash about this vehicle, it hurts to even, you know, look back at it and to even remember that, because now... Looking back at how I thought about uh, this vehicle back then, and now I simply cannot put it the way I want to play. One more battle, then one more battle, then one more, one more, one more. You know, it is quite a big difference. And uh, today I decided to share that uh, uh, couple of gameplays with you as well. I'm going to play three live battles together with this tier 10 Manticore. Uh, my setup over here, I have two different equipment loadouts. I have one complete scouting loadout with Commander's Vision System in the commanders or in the spotting slot, then decoded optics and uh, low noise exhaust as well, then a camo directive and of course food right over here. My crew looks as follows, uh, of course uh, camo is maxed out, view range is maxed out and brothers in arms as well. Now, one really bad thing about the entire Manticore as a tank is that it has only two crew members. Both your uh, uh, commander and your driver are, are under heavy crew skill um, you know, deficiency, uh, I don't even know if this is a word, you know, under heavy load, basically. Two guys have to do loading and everything, you need to add all those skills. So, to maximize Manticore, basically, you need 10 skills per crew member, basically, right? Now, so this is the main spotting setup, but if I find myself in a city map or in a bad scouting map, we have so many of them in World of Tanks as well, I'm going to switch into this setup, you know, just to back some more DPM still, uh, but still to do some spotting as well, so go to the optics, ventilation and rammer right over here, but usually playing it with this loadout right over here. Here are my field modifications as well, if you're interested, of course, uh, some view range over here, um, extra concealment behind the foliage, you know, because moving vehicles have devalued camo already, you want to devalue the uh, behind the bushes camo more, because, you know, moving vehicles uh, get spotted easily. Anyway, uh, extra engine power just for the acceleration, then I went for the reload time, because uh, I'm not using um, any, you know, um, gun handling or TPM boosting equipment units uh, and extra reverse speed as well. So those are my field modifications. Now, even though this setup doesn't have any TPM whatsoever, like Manticore still can end up being top damage dealer. I actually had a ranked battle session where I played five battles with Manticore in four of them, guys. I was top damage dealer in ranked battles with this setup. No rammer, no ventilation, nothing. In four of them, it happened live on the stream as well. Three battles in a row, actually. Then one not top damage dealer and then the fifth one as well. Actually quite crazy. And so, Manticore with uh, this absolute, uh, you know, Stealthy setup, 51% camo, uh, 517 meter view range, and TPM is still trash. Like, TPM is absolute garbage, of course. And now, let's jump into the action and let's play a couple battles together. So, in this first battle on El Halouf, we have a lot of spotting to do, actually, potentially a lot of spotting to do. So, of course, the scouting setup is active. It is a tier 8 battle. For Manticore, honestly, uh, if I'm trying to free mark this as well, I would like to see more tier 10 battles because uh, we have more hit points on the battlefield and whatnot, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, more hit points, more spotting, more damage potentially, and. Uh, and yeah, we're doing good that way, but right over here, oh, hello, Emil, 404 into the face, and a little assistance as well, some spotting. I didn't spot that guy first, so I did not get uh, full assistance from that Emil, of course, makes sense. And uh, Terry is another vehicle, Terry's Defender, Object 252U. Is this guy able to see me or not? Nice, very quick snapshot into the CDC. CDC is just point and click. Uh, that tank is, that tank uh, gets penetrated by absolutely everything. And uh, this guy is honestly asking to be destroyed, just like that. Sadly, I wasn't able to do that before. That guy was able to put one shot into me, but uh, that guy has been taken out. Uh, D100 LT is trying to run for it, uh, not without receiving hopefully at least one shot from me. That was a massively bad shot. That was actually a very bad aim. I'm sorry, guys, you even had to witness it. 
Uh, so, LHMTV is up there. D100 uh, left this position as well. Which kind of gives me quite a juicy advantage over here. Trying to scout out uh, artilleries or heavy tanks. There is VK, who is not able to spot me back. So, quick shot in. And SU as well. Hello, SU! T100 LT is going up the hill. Let's pre-aim that shot and boom! No! Such a perfect lead as well. Such a perfect lead and simply denied by the RNG. There is SU. Who is who is able to spot me actually? No, SU was not able to spot me. That was Shar Futur who was able to spot me. That SU is playing so aggressively. Uh-huh. And boom! Into the pooper. So, because we have so much stuff to do over here still, uh, we can uh, we can provide some vision, we can deal damage at the same time. Yeah, we can make a move. Now we can definitely make a move. As you can see, our east boys are pushing up as well. So we can make a uh, sneaky move, cheeky breaky move. Going up over here. Leopard 1 spotted me. In the final freaking second, Leopard 1, you just... You just destroyed my surprise over here. Okay, Leopard is still up here. Oh yeah. Oh yes, 3-2. We have to lower the number, so let's make it count. Let's fully aim in the shot. Leopard 1 is behind us. I'm not paying attention on that guy yet. Well, I just got shot by the defender without spotting that guy back. That just happened, and artillery did put one shot into me as well. IS-7. Now I have to be careful about Arty, actually, a bit. Okay, mode 1, artillery up over there. That was weird. That was very weird. Okay, so two guys are left. T-54, Shar, who pulled back as well. And Shar is right over. Boom, here. So... In this battle, absolutely no scouting whatsoever, with full scouting setup, so I simply tried to dish in as much damage as possible. 49 scouting. Well, we were keeping uh, some enemy tanks busy at least, you know. Didn't make the game easy for them. Tracking. A little bit of tracking over here. Maybe assistance incoming. That's artillery. And boom. Yep. Like, the reload is so long, you know, the reload is so freaking long without uh, boosting your DPM. Like, I think I still have the lowest DPM on the battlefield. Even being in the tier 8 game, maybe I had, okay, Torn 1. Actually, we had Torn 1 in our team, so that guy simply doesn't have any DPM as well. But, uh, you know, you get the point, right? Being the lowest uh, DPM and no no fight about what equipment units whatsoever. Where did you end up being? Top damage dealer. <laughs> Yay, top damage dealer. I'm playing with full scout stealth uh, Manticore, but uh, ending up being in the top damage. All right, so second battle is a full tier 10 battle on Lakeville. Sadly, not the best scouting map, but we can still do some scouting work uh, at the start of the battle at least. And when we control the middle, we can do some scouting in the middle. So I'm going with the CVS setup because you know that T-values the camo on the move vehicles as well. Very sorry about that. Uh, let's start uh, from here because they should have a couple snipers actually. Manticore up here. Uh, Gorilla 15 as well. Here is Leopard sniping. So many snipers. I'm so tempted, you know. I'm so freaking tempted to take the shot. Uh, we're splitting to spotting. D100 LT. I don't understand why that guy was so extremely aggressive over there. I actually do not understand why he was so extremely aggressive. Okay. Uh, let's uh, see. Let's uh, move up a bit. Maybe we can still do the scouting. Krill up here. Over here I can do scouting and maybe some shooting as well. We have two artilleries, but both artists are focusing the canyon, which is okay. I can actually lose the artillery potential spotting scouting. 
Here is Manticore. Manticore has been spotted. Nice. All right. Let's try to put one shot into you while you are trying to run away. Definitely did get... That shot did get me spotted. So, as you can see from the uh, list of vehicles which have been spotted, you know, enemy team doesn't have too many tanks in the city, actually. They don't have too many tanks left to send into the city. Oh, boy! That shot, though. Now, I don't want to fight with IS-4. I actually don't. Believe me. So, I'm just going to pull back a bit. Okay, IS-4 is behind that. That one didn't go through. At least they didn't get spotted. I can't penetrate IS-4's lower plate with my standard rounds. Unless... Unless I can. No, I cannot. What to do is, we have to get rid of that Manticore somehow. Manticore is a one-shot for me, so I try to take control of the middle. By simply repositioning. I have good enough camo. To stay away from the IS-4 spotting me, but Manticore was able to do that. Beautiful. And now I should not be spotted anymore, so let's go. Let's go, we have to do something. And from here, I believe, I can start punishing that IS-4 as well a bit. Although, let's take a look at this at first. Ah, there is the second, and AMX as well. Okay. AMX is going down. Thanks to the greediness. AMX actually went down thanks to the greediness. That guy has a that guy has a little companion sniping back here as well. Which is Leopard takes another shot. Okay, just like this. Beautiful. IS4 is uh, done as well. Okay, AMX is dead. IS4 is dead. We can move up. It has been, honestly speaking, it has been kind of a sloppy battle. Not the cleanest one of them all. That shot was decent. Spotting, beautiful. Not the cleanest battle of them all, but... Winning at least. Quick shot in. <laughs> Where did that shot even go? Where did that shot even go? So Leopard is up here. Judas. Uh, where is Judas? Judas is also missing. Nice. Okay, so Judas most likely pulled back all the way behind that area. I can be sneaky over here. I can definitely be sneaky over here. Beautiful. And now Judas is the only vehicle left. This guy has to be behind his, right? Yep, here it is. Art is dead. <laughs> Come on, Manti! Eh? Okay, assistance tracking. Did you see my game freezing over there? Did you see that? Okay, so 6,000, well, if we round it up, it's, let's say, 7,000 combined on Lakeville is not bad, but uh, it was kind of sloppy, you know, we had chances to deal even more damage, we had chances to get this, some more spotting, some assistance scouting, but yeah, you know, I can't cry too much about this, you know, I can't cry too much about that, okay? Very decent, actually. Chieftain, well, who would have thought, right? Uh, bounced, uh, not too much, actually. And uh, on the enemy team, Chieftain is the top damage. No, actually, not top damage dealer. But uh, did some damage, at least. Uh, so, 7,000. 
200 combined. We had some hidden assistance as well, apparently. Not bad for Lakeville. Let's play one more. And in our final battle, we got actually quite a nice uh, scouting map. So three out of three using this uh, scouting setup. We didn't have to use damage. The BAM thing is over here. And T100 Delta is able to get away. I'm not going to risk uh, too much trying to dish out damage into that guy. Uh, one shot towards T54, which, you know, was a long shot. Uh, let's see, can I spot, uh, can I get some sneaky spots in, in the enemy line? Nothing over here, absolutely nothing spotted over here actually. Absolutely nothing spotted, T100 is still over there, quite aggressive. Wow, those guys are very aggressive over there. <coughs> Okay, let's let's try. All right, we can take out the brochetta as well, actually. Let's get rid of this uh, brochetta. D54 lightweight. Nah, come on now. Well, at least full assistance. There is Bisonte. Bisonte up over there should be our spot as well. Brochetta and boom. Just like that, you know, to gain control, to gain control back uh, over here is quite important, I would say so. And we can troll around with a couple of the enemy vehicles. Can we spot anything? Terry Spisonte spotted again. And alright, that Yo tank is aware of us. Hmm. Like, we have absolutely no information about the east of the map, which is weird for this map, honestly. This is very weird for this map. Okay, they're knocking down trees. They're knocking over trees over there. <clears throat> that means they're waiting. For our allies, 782 should be uh, easy spotting for us. Yo tank, gonna be sneaky. Well, there is a shoe. Beautiful, quick shot in. I like how, I like what kind of control we have on this map right now. Very good. And let's go for the commander hatch. Ooh, massive low roll. It was a hit. <clears throat> Quite a derpy start, but a very nice uh, going right now in this battle. Very nice going in this battle. Can we take that guy out? Beautiful, with a blind shot as well. Fantastic. Quick spotting run type 61. Although we do not have any snipers, uh, so we I have to be careful not uh, not overdoing the spotting part right now, as we do not have anyone to shoot at uh, our spots anyway. But I'm really curious knowing what is over there. Oh, Grilla. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. That should be my juicy assistance. Let's put the shot in. 293! So my last rolls are... Actually, okay. Enough crying. I had one high roll as well. SDRV. Let's take a shot into Waffentrager and uh, let me just... Let me just get the hell out of the spotting right now. We have done enough of this, uh, we have to get out of the radar for, for a couple seconds at least. Bisonte. Beautiful. Got that guy destroyed as well. Like, if we take control, starting from the north side, you know, and if we uh, take control over here in this battle like we did, it's just... For Manticore it is the best situation to be in, basically. The best situation to be in. So Waffentrager pulled back, Gorilla 15 is still, might still be somewhere up there. Uh -huh. Like I'm thinking, where was Gorilla 15 even able to go, you know? There is SU. There is SU, Manticore with its standard gun elevation issues, needs uh, some more Viagra, of course. And boom. I should not get spotted. And I didn't. And I did not. Alright. Okay, we can switch the sides now to be a bit more safe. 
first type 61 beautiful Krilla 15 is still missing was Krilla really able to get all the way back here STRV STRV is so sneaky actually so sneaky nice and let's try to get the uh, STRV full assistance incoming hopefully Arty right here, SRV, SRV, where are you? Where are you? Nice, hello. Beautiful. Tracking! Oh, I actually didn't want to get tracking. I honestly did not want to get tracking, but it is a nice battle. Nevertheless, 8600 combined. Maybe some hidden assistance as well. We we actually might have some hidden assistance so last battle over 7k this time 8k first battle started off quite weirdly but uh, three battles three wins i do take that ladies and gentlemen and a tanker as well okay okay 8729 beautiful uh, let's apply some experience even though i don't need it it is fully field modded up as well so what is this? Battle duty? Yes, battle duty as well. Beautiful ace tanker to finish off the episode with. Ladies and gentlemen, Manticore, the tank which I talked so much crap about, talked so much shite about, didn't want to grind, avoided grinding. Here it is now and I'm freaking loving it. I'm honestly loving it and hopefully the gameplay shows it. Uh, I mean... Ladies and gentlemen, Manticore, let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think about that? What do you think about the entire line? Let me know in the comment section. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome. Stay sexy, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Most importantly, take care and bye.